Hello traders, Gary Wagner here, 12 noon in Honolulu and 6 o'clock in New York on Thursday, 15th day of September 2022 and this is uh, the Daily Report for Gold and Silver. Today, for the first time in many years, gold broke through a key and critical support level at 1680 Gold is currently down $35.20, a 2% drop, and fixed at $1,673.90. This was done with neither strength or weakness from the U.S. dollar, which in essence closed unchanged at $109.68. Silver also dropped about 2%, and the September contract is fixed at $19.17.5. On a technical basis, today's $35 decline created chart damage that we have not seen in years. Just to set the whole scenario up, from the moment the gold hit its first all-time record high, just above 1900 it would spend a multi-year process tracking lower. And that process took us to the end of 2015, beginning of 2016, and that was the point in time when we saw a key reversal and gold move from an extremely bearish demeanor to a bullish demeanor. We are looking at a monthly chart, and what you can see from this is the first occasion when gold prices broke above $1,680 occurred at the first part of 2020. From there, it reached the all-time record high, 2088, and then followed with 2077 a year and a half later. But during that period of time, we had a number of instances in which the lows came in at around 1680, and on each occasion, it held and then traded higher. To look at how gold reacted at that price point from April of 2020, I have converted our chart into a daily chart. The first thing that we notice is the first couple of attempts to break above 1680 were unsuccessful. And so we can easily identify this price point as a price point of resistance. However, that changed quickly once it broke above it and then began to trade lower because as you can see the following months we can easily identify 1680 as a price point that was a highly supportive one then we had multiple occasions in which we tested this area going a couple of dollars below it but in each instance recovering and recovering quite quickly and that takes us all the way up to our current scenario in which we actually had a much harder break to the downside than we have seen in any other instance. I'll go ahead and blow that up. You can see that right now we hit a low of 1667. The market is currently at 1671. And while it is possible that it will quickly recover and move back above this key level, once again, making it a level of support, it is also highly probable that this could be the break which takes gold substantially lower after breaking below that price point, which means that on a technical basis, it is a very difficult read. And so on a technical basis, the first level of support we could even deem wouldn't come in till about $1,580. However, there is a major caveat to that statement, and that is, historically speaking, we have so much data showing strong support at this price point. It is also likely that we'll see a further decline, not that deep, and then gold will move back up. This is something we will explore through the remainder of the week and into next week. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you, as always, good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow through the weekly wrap-up and review. Bye-bye.